Welcome to the PTE Weekly Update number three. It's 18th of January 2022. And uh, the good news is I don't have many new questions for you, but there are some very good questions that we're going to cover in this session. So let's get it started with the first question of read aloud. A sea breeze or onshore breeze is any wind that blows from a large body of water toward or onto a landmass. It develops due to differences in air pressure created by the differing heat capacities of water and dry land. As such, sea breezes are more localized than prevailing winds. Winter wheat are strains of wheat that are planted in the autumn to germinate and develop into young plants that remain in the vegetative phase during the winter and resume growth in early spring. Classification into spring or winter wheat is common and traditionally refers to the season during which the crop is grown. Most countries are affected by labor migration. In many rural places, the traditional extended family has been undermined by the need for family members to migrate to towns as an economic necessity. Migration, therefore, presents a major challenge everywhere to social and economic policy. There are many reasons why water tastes stale when it is kept for a long time. Microorganisms play a big role in this phenomenon. When they grow, they release chemicals into the water from their metabolic activity. This evaporates over time, so the absence of it from water left out for a long period brings about a change in taste. Let's go to repeat sentence questions. I would like you to listen, pause, repeat, and play the audio again. Please submit a formal request in order to renew your study permit. Essays and assignments should be submitted to the department office before the deadline. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. Read the safety instructions before using the equipment during the workshop. Please be careful when using online translation programs. Some changes have been made to the curriculum this semester. There is a new pharmacy on the north side of the university campus. The library offers group study rooms so you can work with other students. Exam results will be available next week on course website. Your lowest quiz grade has been omitted from the calculations. The new system was confronted with great difficulties at the start. You'll be quite safe if you observe certain basic precautions. Children will adjust their behavior to meet parental approval. Now let's go to describe image questions. Well, in this one, it's uh, a lower carbon diet is a higher carbohydrate or higher sugar diet. Uh, you can use all of these words like difference, high meat, medium meat, low meat, fish, vegetarian and vegan. You can use the percentage of difference vegan versus high meat and you have fat, sat fat, that is actually saturated fat but you don't need to say that, that sat fat is enough, protein, carbohydrate and total sugars and you have the percentage of calorie from micronutrient. So you have some percentages and that should be it. Let's go to the next one. It's uh, about world population. Uh, the percentage of youth ages 15 to 24 and the population varies widely by country. You have smallest and largest and you have a list of countries that you can use to describe this image. So this next question is about government receipts. So you have uh, different types like council tax, business rates, VAT, corporation task, excise duties, national insurance, income tax, and in each, each of them you have a number definitely and you can use them to describe the image. And this one is actually a bridge, or it could, you can actually uh, mention the woods, you can mention um, pathway, you can mention steps, uh, you can mention the different colors. You have uh, like trees, tree branches, leaves, and uh, you can even mention the colors. Now, uh, about retail lecture, these questions have recently appeared in the exam. Nostalgia especially has been reported many times by the students cancer cells as well, left-handers uh, or left-handed people, uh, standardized tests. The endowment effect also has been reported uh, a number of times, melanin, same, and uh, ocean currents. 
So let's go to answer short question. What do we call a group of lines that form a unit in a poem? Uh, that's verse. What do we call a building where Christians go to worship? That's church. What do we call a person who is trained and qualified to advise people about the law? Uh, a lawyer. What do we call the hair that covers the body of sheep? That's wool or fleece. What do police usually use to hold a prisoner's wrists together? Handcuffs. What do we call the crime of deliberately setting fire to buildings? That's arson. Which organ of our body can tell uh, different tastes? That's tongue. And what covers your eyeballs when you blink or close your eyes? That's eyelid. All right, let's go to SWT. I have two questions for you. The first one is about the benefits of science. And you can see the key points like the public attention, a heated debate, benefits to our society, promoting humans, the advancements of the subject, technology, human development. You can actually pause the video and see all of them. Uh, the next question of SWT refers to the ultra processed foods. You can see all these beautiful key points like addictive tobacco products, cutting down on them, apples, beans, pleasurable feelings, reducing negative ones, the high levels of refined carbohydrates and fat, um, shaping your behavior, rewarding good behavior, addictive drugs, cocaine, and a lot of others. Beautiful. Let's move to essay quickly. I have chosen four questions for you. Games are as important for adults as they are for children. Do you think adults need games? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Uh, I would say yes, I'm a huge fan of games for adults. So the first one is, um, or the first reason is, games are entertaining so you can have fun. Uh, the second one is uh, sometimes they're escape from reality. You know, reality can sometimes be a bit tough. Uh, games can actually help you escape uh, and uh, uh, relax a little bit. Another one is games are mentally challenging. So you can actually challenge your mind. You can uh, push your limits and uh, can actually develop your brain too. And the next question is some people are always in a hurry to get somewhere and get things done. Others prefer to take their time and live a slow paced life. Which one do you prefer and why? You can choose either. If you go with um, uh, taking your time and living a slow paced life, you can go with uh, the ideas that uh, we need to relax in life. We live once, we should do this, we should do that. But if you go with fast pace, you say like um, time is money and you need to do a lot of things, this and that. So depending on which one you choose, you can have a lot of reasons. Some films are serious and designed to arouse audiences thinking. Other films are designed primarily to entertain. Which type of movie do you prefer to watch? Again, it's something personal. If you go with serious and um, those thought-provoking movies, you can talk about uh, the teaching effect of those. You can talk about uh, the influence that they can, they can have on society, on people, changing behavior, modifying behavior, um, improving the social behavior of people and so on. If you go with entertaining, you can talk about uh, having fun, like you can actually talk about the fact that people can watch uh, these movies to um, just uh, let go of some uh, negative feelings that they have. Uh, they can sit down with a family, uh, boosting family ties and this and that. A person should never make an important decision alone and they must consult others. Do you support this statement or not? Well, uh, if you say no, you disagree, you can talk about the fact that one person can focus uh, this and that. But if you talk about consulting others, of course, you have more reasons. So two heads work better than one. People talking about their experiences, bringing, bringing their experiences to the table and talking about them. And uh, again, there are some reasons you can use. Let's go to reading and writing, fill in the blanks. I have chosen two questions for you. Um, so. Let's go and take a look at the blanks. In the first one, you have, um, let's see, from the first illustrated catalog of medicinal plants. So illustrated catalog, uh, so a catalog is like a booklet and illustrated means it has pictures in it. So that's the only combination that makes sense. Uh, the second one with a growing popularity of something, when something gets more and more popular, it has a growing popularity. 
or the growing popularity of that thing. Then with the emergence of artists such as blah blah, so emergence means appearance, when people emerge, when something emerges or comes to existence or comes to the scene and people can see them or notice them. And the last thing is um, living plants or animals were observed directly. Uh, so when you observe something or somebody, you watch them very closely uh, to analyze their behavior. And the second question is about girls and boys and their difference in um, reading books. So the first one is female protagonists. Protagonists are heroes or heroines of a movie or a book or story uh, in general. The researchers analyzed, well, that's the only one that makes sense to uh, analyze something, to uh, explore it, to look into something very carefully. The next one is the researchers attribute this finding to male being historically seen as blah, blah. Attribute something to means relate something to or connect something to. And the last one is gender stereotypes. Well, stereotypes are fixed pictures or images that people have of something or somebody. Like when I say a bird, um, well, the last thing that comes to your mind is a kiwi bird. Well, that's also a bird, but it doesn't come to your head. Probably you will think about a sparrow or nightingale or something or I don't know, a finch. Uh, so that's a stereotype. When I say, as an example, manager, what comes to your mind? Is it a man or a woman? So that's a stereotype, the um, fixed picture that comes to your mind when you hear something. Now, let's go to reorder paragraph. I have chosen only one question for you. It's about uh, cameras that help autonomous vehicles read street signs and the color of traffic lights. Uh, if you continue reading, you will see why this is the correct order. Let's go to reading fit in the blanks. Again, I have chosen two questions for you. Uh, so in the first one, almost no one regards corn with suspicion. That's actually a funny thing. But the same can be said for humans' ingenious ability to engineer the plants we eat. Uh, the same, it means um, regarding something with suspicion. Uh, the next one is actually this passage about genetically modified crops. So uh, the next one is with such hostility, such hostility. Well, that's a good combination. That's the only thing that makes sense the most comprehensive review of something. Uh, comprehensive means all-inclusive, something that uh, takes care of all the aspects of it. And the last thing is GM food is pointless, unscientific and harmful to farmers, according to the author of this text. Uh, so unscientific means something that is not scientific, it's just probably misusing science. Let's go to the next question of reading fit in the blanks. It's uh, about journalists and the media. Uh, so the constitution offers press freedom, but the government has been battling court cases to try to curtail such freedom. So battling something means to fight something and curtail means to limit something. Um, on matters that touch on national security, touch on something means uh, that talk about, that write about publish stories on matters concerning national security. So concerning means about. Let's go to summarize spoken text. Well, these um, topics appeared in the exam recently. Internet privacy, art and artist, business, buying happiness, company culture, silent meetings, digital currency, masculinity contest, culture. Well, if you want to have access to the audio files of these, just uh, send me a message or you can comment under this video so I can tell you where to find it or maybe I will send it to you. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go to write from dictation now. You can apply for a number of scholarships. The United States is the largest chocolate manufacturing country. We will study the following pictures in the next lecture. Pupils in our schools are taught in a secure environment. The trip has been extended to include a few other events. Science fiction stories of unmentioned robots that can talk. Computers can be used to facilitate language learning. He tried to make his speech more entertaining. 
you must satisfy the qualifications to get a work permit. An innovative scheme has been proposed by the students. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Now go ahead and like the video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, it's the best time to do it. It takes a second. See you next week, my friends. Thank you so much. Have a lovely one.